Hello, my name is Sanjay Rama. I'm a program manager on the Business Connectivity Services Engineering team. This video is the first in the series of videos you will see about Business Connectivity Services in SharePoint 2010 and evolution of Business Data Catalog in SharePoint 2007. In an organization, external data is often stored in separate software systems like the Enterprise Resource Application or the Customer Management System or databases or web 2 services. This poses a lot of challenges to both the enterprise IT and the end users. IT will have to create multiple custom applications and manage them separately and end users will not only have to learn how to work with these applications but often switch between them to work with external data. Business connectivity services bridges this gap between external data and the end users. It enables you to create reusable business objects and secure and centrally manage solutions using these objects. End users working with external data will not have to switch away from the productivity environment because BCS brings the external data into SharePoint and other office applications like Outlook, Word and SharePoint Workspace. Power users business unit IT and application developers can easily create and customize both code-based and codeless solutions using BCS. In this video, I'll show you a quick demo of how external data behaves in SharePoint and how users can work with it using the browser. We have a SQL database called Contoso and the customer table in this database is used to store the customer information. The object is to bring this data into SharePoint using BCS. Switching to the SharePoint Central Admin, what we are looking at is a list of external content types. External content types are the basic building blocks in BCS. They are reusable and define which data source we are working with and how the data behaves in SharePoint and Office Client applications. The customer external content type here has been designed to work with the Contoso database. Now how do we bring the Contoso data into SharePoint? We do that through what we call an external list in SharePoint. Let me create a new list. The type of the list we are creating is an external list. Give this list a friendly name and bring up the external content type picker to pick what external content type this list is supposed to work with. I'm going to pick customer then finish the wizard by clicking create and here we have the data from the customer table in Contoso database in SharePoint displayed as a list. As you can see an external list is similar to a regular list. You can filter the data or group the items in the list or use one of the column names to sort the list. The main difference is that the data for an external list is not stored locally. If we bring up the context menu for one of the items, what we see here are the operations that are defined by the external content type on these items. I'm going to pick the edit item here and here we see an edit form that has been auto-generated by BCS when we created the list. We can easily customize this form using InfoPath, put some branding information or other customer related information. Now let us go ahead and edit something here. I'm going to change the first name from Jonathan to John and save it. The change we made will be reflected immediately in the list and if we go back to the SQL database refresh the view for the customer table, here's the change that was done and which has already been propagated to the backend. So we just saw how external data can be brought into SharePoint using an external list. In the upcoming video, you will see how to take an external list to Outlook. So stay tuned.